Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates and we are starting with the official list of the Arnold Classic UK. No, this is not the Arnold Classic Ohio list, this is a new one. What is different? Well, not much. It is basically the same list from the Arnold Classic Ohio, minus the three South Americans, Rafael Brando, Horse MD, and Justin Rodriguez. These three guys are out, everybody else is in, and there are no new entries for whatever reason. I think there is a reason for why those three guys are not doing this show, I'm gonna talk about that in a second. But as far as why are there no new entries, because that is kind of interesting, I mean there are only nine guys competing in this show and that's, you know, not a lot. That's a, that's a small show, that's two call-outs and that's it. People are wondering why Martin Fitzwater is not here, well it's because he didn't even apply. Which is a shame, I thought he would have his redemption here at this show, but no, he didn't apply. It was also very interesting that they didn't accept Sas Heirati, who applied for this show, who is having a comeback. Who, yeah, did not compete for quite a few years, but he won New York Pro in 2017. And he was a big hope for British bodybuilding back in the day. He was really popular, he had this crazy... 3D type of look, he had crazy insertions, he had that clean plastic look, he would always get conditioned, uh, again he wasn't the biggest guy but he was so well shaped, he had such a great symmetry and, and structure and I really thought they were gonna accept him to do this show but no, no he was also denied for whatever reason, I don't know who else applied, I know William Bonek is preparing but if he applied for the Arnold, they would accept him because he won the Arnold Classic Ohio twice. And as far as the other big names, I don't know if anybody else applying for the Arnold Classic uh, UK, but I think it would make sense to have a couple of other mid-level pros. I guess they didn't want that, they only wanted the stars, even though it's only nine of them. They didn't want any, you know, mid-level bodybuilders, not even bodybuilders who were inactive for a couple of years, who were really great back in the day. In my opinion, Sas Herati would probably beat quite a few guys here in this lineup if he was at his best, but I guess the promoters don't want to risk it. They don't know what he's gonna look like in the end. Based on these physique updates, I think he's gonna look great, I think he's gonna bring back his old version, but I guess the promoters didn't feel the same way or they just don't wanna take that risk. So we have only nine guys competing at this show for now, for now. Arnold Classic is still pretty far away and usually a couple of guys drop out, so maybe it's gonna be less, you know, eight, seven guys, six guys, I don't know man, we'll see, let's hope everybody does the show, but it's very interesting that we have Samson Dauda, who, you know, competes very often, he's not afraid of competing, he's from UK, he just posted this photo, you know, saying that he's doing the Arnold Classic UK, and I don't know if this is recent, it could be a screenshot from his previous uh, physique update, and nonetheless he looks crazy here, he looks super full, super conditioned at the same time, so yeah, he's bringing it, like, I have him winning both Ohio and UK. Uh, we also have Andrew Jack, of course he's defending his uh, title from last year, but it's very very interesting that Hari Japan is doing this show as well, but it makes sense, because the prize money here is 100k, Guys, so if Hardy wins both Ohio and UK, he wins 400k, which is basically the same as winning the Mr. Olympia, so it would actually end up being a really good year for Hardy, even though he lost the Mr. Olympia. I mean, by placing second, he still got some money, I believe it was 150k, which is also a lot of money, plus these 400k, it's more than a half a mil, but we'll see if he's gonna win again, I'm betting on Samson, but I don't know, I mean, maybe, maybe Rubiel Muscara is going to surprise us all and bring something new, something insane to the table, so we got this physique update from Rubiel, and man, he looks really freaking nuts, nuts, and some people, I wouldn't say a lot of people, but some people are asking, why did he get the invite and Martin Fitzwater, for example, didn't get the invite for the Arnold Classic? And people are comparing these two guys and saying that Martin did more, that he deserves more. Guys, guys, I mean, this guy, let's be serious, this guy has like the potential to become 
the next big thing, you know, and Steve Weinberger told you all, he was judging the Prague EVLS and he said that he wasn't this impressed by a physique, actually by a bodybuilder at their pro debut, since he saw Big Remy for the first time. So he is comparing this guy to Big Remy, and we all know how good Big Remy was. I mean, he won the Mr. Olympia twice. And in my opinion, this guy, I mean, he doesn't have better symmetry than Big Remy, sure. But I feel like he has more of that freak factor. Look at his side shot. I mean, you know, upper body is like really big, really massive. But those legs, man, in the side shot, they are literally forming a freaking circle. That's how impressive he is. And he was always big. He was big back in the Elite Pro days. But he improved his conditioning so much for the MPC. It was unreal. Yeah, sure, his muscle is so dense that he doesn't have the deepest separation. But this is not classic physique. It's not so much about the separation, the details, the dryness. This is bodybuilding. This is bodybuilding in the IFBB Pro League. And you guys probably know what uh, Crisio has been told by the judges at the Mr. Olympia. They told him less conditioning, more fullness and size. So these guys are not rewarding the conditioning that much in the open. Of course, it's a factor, but you gotta have the fullness and the roundness. And this guy has it. I mean, he still has to improve his physique. He still needs to come in sharper. He still needs to improve his aesthetics, like his symmetry. He needs to work on, you know, bringing up his upper body a little bit more, you know, especially in the front double and back double shots. He needs to maybe lower the size of his quads to make himself a little bit more symmetrical, but not that much. I like the freak factor a lot that his legs are huge. Overall, I mean, he's gonna get better, he's gonna improve, he's gonna get more matured, right? His physique is gonna mature more and he's gonna look more freaky with years, but... Even right now, if he brings good conditioning, in my opinion, he can do a lot of damage at the Arnold Classic Ohio and UK. I don't know where he can place, but he can be a top threat if you guys ask me. One thing is for sure, he is on the radar, he won't be overlooked. Like I said, the South Americans are not doing the Arnold Classic UK, but those Brazilians, Rafael Brandao and Marcelo D'Angelis, Horse MD, are gonna be doing the Arnold Classic Brazil. And now, it is confirmed, Guduito is also going to be doing the Arnold Classic Brazil. He's been living in Brazil for quite a while. He's sponsored by a Brazilian company. So, of course, it makes sense for him to compete over there. He recently had that hernia surgery and apparently it all went really well. And this is a physique update of him right now. So, as you can see, he hasn't been training for like a week or two, not longer than that. And maybe he lost some of that hardness and fullness, a little tiny bit, but not really. He is still freaking massive and his body fat percent is really low for this uh, period of the year. And as you can see, his belly button is finally looking normal. It's finally looking fine. It all looks good. Then since he's able to train already, and I know this surgery doesn't really take a long recovery. It's usually like two weeks. Um, yeah, he, he's fine, he's in the gym, he's training and, and he is looking really massive right now, I know he's gonna get bigger now in the next couple of weeks, he's gonna bring back the fullness, the hardness that he lost uh, during this time of rest, and then he's gonna get even more freaky and after that he's gonna prep, and once he's shredded, once his physique peaks, and he has Chris Asito in his corner, so once he's ready for the stage, yeah, it's gonna be really tough to beat this guy. It's gonna be really tough for anybody, including Rafael Brandao, Horse MD, or whoever else shows up, William Bonac, maybe. I think this guy has a legit chance of winning this show, even though it's a pro debut. Even though it's a pro debut, I still believe he is that good. I still believe he's that impressive. Of course, he might get overlooked, there is a possibility of that, but... I believe there is also a possibility of him bringing something so impressive, something so crazy that it just can't be ignored. I mean, I believe Rafael Brandao is gonna be bigger, I believe he made progress. I know Horse MD is gonna look amazing and he will probably make even more progress until the Anon Classic Brazil. So these guys are gonna be great and I don't know who else is gonna jump in, so it's gonna be extremely tough for somebody to win an Arnold Classic, Arnold Classic Brazil in this case, for their pro debut. I know how crazy that sounds, but I believe in this case, it is entirely possible. 
whatever you guys think tell me down below in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and for more videos like this guys please subscribe help me reach the 50k thank you so much guys see you soon all the best and bye bye